Hey guys, it's me, Saran, back with another video. Um, this video is going to be about something I've wanted to talk about in a while, for a while now, uh, but I wasn't really sure how to talk about it. Um, but I recently watched some music videos that kind of got my juices going um, on this issue. This issue, what I'm going to be talking about in this video, is misogyny. And specifically misogynoir, misogynoir, however you choose to pronounce it. Which is something I feel like I've talked about, you know, kind of in other videos. Um, about Nicki Minaj and about Azalea Banks. And definitely the standards, and even Beyonce. Um, the standards that a lot of black women are held to because misogynoir or misogynoir is that kind of sweet spot where race and gender intersect. Um, and it's about the really specific types of sexism and racism that black women face. Uh, and I've been thinking a lot about it. A couple people have asked me for videos, but I wasn't sure how I wanted to talk about it. But after watching these videos, I just have a couple things on my mind that I want to talk about. Um, the two videos in question are Janelle Monae's yoga video, which came out yesterday or the day before, and Wale's video for the girls on drugs which also I want to say came out yesterday or the day before um both videos are kind of causing a stir for reasons that seem kind of I would say different on the surface but actually are similar there it's the same reason Janelle Monet um she's been around for years now she's not quite mainstream but people know who she is. You know, she's a she's kind of a staple in in pop me R and B ish pop type music right now. I'm really not a Janelle Monae fan. There's nothing personal against her. I think she's extremely extremely talented. I think she's gorgeous. Um, I love her whole look, her whole aesthetic. I really love her ideas and her concepts, especially with the whole like I've listened to her stuff, especially with the whole um, the Metropolis and the Ar the Arc Android and the Cindy Mayweather thing. I thought that was really, really cool and very much right, you know, down my alley in terms of things that I like. But I just really could never get into her music. Her music never really did anything for me as a listener. Um, and she's always had a really specific look. She, like, wore these suits all the time. And she wore her hair a certain way. And she wore a certain type of shoe, like these saddle shoes and... You know, she would give interviews about, you know, the suit is, it's my uniform and, you know, I I don't want to take away from, you know, my creative process and I also feel like, you know, the suit represents, because like I said, the whole Cindy Mayweather arc, arc Android thing was about society and conformity and things like that and this, she would have like her backup dancers wear suits, like the suit thing was like a thing, it was a thing for her. Recently, within the past couple of years, she's kind of been veering away from that and going into new directions with both her music and her fashion and her style, the way she dresses, the way she does her hair, the type of, of songs that she's writing and creating. And her content is just changing. She's growing as an artist. So I guess people have been feeling for a while now like she's getting too sexy. And in this yoga video, um, which, is gonna, which is a single off something that's dropping, an EP or something like that, a lot of people are are real up in arms about this video because they feel like this is Janelle Monet like selling out. Because the video I watched the video, this first of all the song is like one of those like trap type songs it has like a real heavy bass um, line like you know that like trap sound that's popping. Um, and she's talking about post it up and flexing and they like flexing in the video. It's cute. I thought it was cute. It was a cute video. It's called Yoga, and the hook is like flexing on my yoga. Something, something, something. It's about popping your ass and being flexible. Um, and and the video is like set in the yoga studio, and she's like the yoga teacher, but she's doing like this yoga slash jazzercise, jazz hands, spirit fingers dance type thing. Um, and she has like. For a, for a portion of the video, she has, like, these booty shorts on with this, like, crop top. And for other portions of the video, she has a, she has these, like, yoga pants on with a crop top, like, all white. Um, 
And she even says multiple times in the song, which I think is a reference to the to the criticism that her music and her image has been taken. Like, oh, you can't. I think I have it here. Like, oh, you can't police me. Um, get up. You cannot police me. So get off my my areola. And she says some stuff about like you know. I'm a rebel, you know, like, I'm a rebel, you can't control me, you can't police me, I could be peachy, I could be vulgar, like, you cannot police me, get off my areola. Basically, you know, very much saying, like, you know, this is me, I am a woman, she's 29 years old, you know, if I want, whatever I want to do is whatever I want to do. And she's always been very into, like I said, individuality and nonconformity and, and, and being yourself, doing what you want respecting your own you know your body and and making your own choices and it's interesting how when you say those things from a suit oh everybody is on board and they're down with it you know when you're fully covered up but when you start saying those things in and you know a crop top and yoga pants all of a sudden now your message is null and void right um so so i'm gonna read you some comments well a comment some will call and brand this, and a girl left this comment, Shauna. Some will call and brand this as she's revamping her creativity and showing different colors of her craft, while those of us who have since realized it only took her a minute, excuse me guys, before she conformed. All these years, Janelle has presented herself as nothing less than a woman of respect. The person that wrote that put that in quotes, a woman of respect giving power to her lyrics, video, and character. Now, all of a sudden, she is posted up and flexing like these uncreative hoes who, when run out of ideas, resort to such tactics. I don't know about anybody else, but I expect way more out of Janelle than this. She can try to make this work as something new, but it's not working. It's making her come across as someone who was fully pressured into being just as they are. I don't know who's talking in her ear but she needs to pull away i salute creativity but twerking and dipping low from an artist who has presented this themselves in excellence no janelle is better than whatever this is don't conform you see there's not even the question of is this what she wants to do even though she specifically says in the song do not police me jump off my areola I could be peachy, I could be vulgar, or whatever the fuck she says in the song. Even though all of her music up to this point, because as I've said, I have listened to it, a lot of it has been about being yourself, whoever that person is. You see how we we fall so quickly into these respectability politics, because that's what we're talking about, respect, respectability politics. Janelle has presented herself as nothing less than a woman of respect. What does that mean? So when she's fully covered up in a suit, she's a woman of respect. But when she's wearing yoga pants and a crop top, she's not worthy of respect. Why? She's the same exact person. She's literally the same person. She hasn't morphed into a different person. Why does the woman in the suit come in respect, but the woman in the yoga pants and the crop top shaking her ass at 29 years old, because that's what the fuck she feels like doing, does not. Right? And this is, and I'm reading it, I'm on a black website, you know, these are things that black women and black men, but I'm going to stick with black women for right now. These are things that black women tell other black women all the time. You don't respect yourself. Respect yourself and respect yourself and respect yourself. You know, it's the same exact rhetoric that we hear when we talk about race. Well, if you respected yourselves, pulled your pants up and respected yourselves. This, 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 and this wouldn't happen. If you fucking stayed buttoned up in that suit, Janelle Monet, that, that's you respecting yourself. For me, it's like, people can't police how other people can respect themselves. If someone respecting themselves, for them, is them fucking putting on yoga clothes and going to a yoga class and shaking their ass, if that's what makes them feel strong and powerful, and that is how they honor themselves and honor their bodies, who are you to tell them that's wrong? And the only way for you to respect yourself is for you to do this one thing, you know? And sexism isn't, of course, an issue in the white community um, as well, but really the undercurrent of, of, of misogyny in the black community is is disturbing it's really disturbing and it's all wrapped up in these respectability politics 
of you need to you have to do this 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 and this otherwise you don't respect yourselves and for me it falls on a spectrum right on one end of the spectrum you have the people that straight up hate women very in your face fuck these bitches and fuck these hoes I don't give a fuck money over bitches fuck these black bitches this 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 and this and then on the other end of the spectrum you have the people that are like this commenter who call themselves you know trying to help oh a woman of excellence wouldn't do this this and this a queen i fucking hate when people say that a queen does this a queen does that how about you shut the fuck up how about you shut up how about you shut up if a person is a queen, they're going to be a queen regardless of, of if they fucking wear a bathing suit or a business suit. Because being a queen and respecting yourself is something that comes from within. That's not something that is based on what you wear, how you do your hair. You have people that say wearing your hair natural is not respecting yourself. It's not presenting yourself in a proper way, you know? Having self-respect is something that comes from within. I don't give a fuck. A bitch could be stripping on a pole, ass naked, but if she fucking says, all I do is strip, I, I don't fucking have sex with these niggas, or these niggas can't touch me, or these niggas this, or these niggas that, I would say that she fucking has respect for herself. I don't give a fuck if she's shaking her ass on that pole. She's fucking making her money the way she makes her money, and she's fucking respecting herself the way that she sees fit. All of this, if you don't do X, Y, and Z, you don't respect yourself, it's crazy to me. It's really crazy. And like I said, I'm no Janelle Monet fan or stan, but I thought the video was cute. And the fact that her, and, and the video wasn't even over the top vulgar, mind you. You have people out here that will go crazy for Beyonce when she's half naked. But when Janelle Monet wears booty shorts and a crop top, oh my god, Janelle, Janelle Monet does not respect herself. It's because they're so used to seeing her covered up in a suit that seeing her actually claim and control her sexuality is scary, it's frightening. They don't want to see that. They don't want to think about her as a sexual being. They just want to think of Cindy Mayweather in the suit, you know, giving them something in a respectable way. And I don't like that. Stop trying to police black women. Stop trying to, to tone police them. Get the fuck up off the areolas. Let them do what they want, just like everybody else. Everybody else. Just like I said in my Nicki Minaj video, Nicki Minaj was not the first person to use fucking Nazi propaganda in a, in a creative work. If she had been Woody Allen, nobody would have fucking blinked. But since she's a black woman, it has to be a problem. Right? And especially in the arts. We as black people don't give our artists enough space. Right? We really don't. We really, really don't. Especially our black female artists. Give them space. Give them space to grow and to experiment and to do what they want. Janelle Monae's not hurting anybody by wearing a crop top. It's absurd. And the second video that I wanted to talk about, which kind of brings me to that video, is the Wale, the Girls on Drugs video, right? Because I was thinking, Janelle Monae's not hurting anybody by wearing a crop top. The most she's doing is what? Encouraging girls to fucking love their bodies and go do yoga and, and this and that. Which brings me to the Wally Girls on Drugs video because we start talking about influence. My husband came in and was like, oh, did you see this new Wally video? I was like, no, you know I don't like Wally. I don't check for Wally. I have a personal grudge against Wally because I'm from Washington, D.C., Wale likes to claim he's from D.C., but he's not. He's from Maryland. I don't fuck with this DMV shit. Ain't no DMV. You're from D.C., you're from Maryland, or you're from Virginia. I'm from D.C. I was born and raised in D.C. I don't like people from not D.C. claiming it. That's just, I'm a bougie bitch from D.C., and that's just the fuck how it goes around here. So I personally could never get down with Wale because I feel like, why the fuck do you keep claiming D.C. when you're not from there? But that's just me. Of course, that's just me. No one else has to feel that way. And I also just don't like his music. I find his music to be really boring. I think he's a really talented writer. Um, I don't think his flow is good. He always has trouble writing a beat to me. His flow is the same on every beat. It's that same staccato. My name, Wale, no, not Wale. Like, very staccato on every single song, on every beat. It doesn't matter what the song is. It doesn't matter how the beat goes. He, he can't switch up his flow. He can't write a beat. He can do some interesting things with words and wordplay. Um, but as far as his rapping ability, I've never seen it for him, personally. Um, and I think he just has a lot of issues. 
And I think Wale is a misogynist. I think Wale hates women. Um, he's definitely said multiple times that he's had issues with skin color in the past. Because he, he's had issues with black girls and especially dark skinned girls in the past because he feels like they, they've teased him and, and this and that. And I, deep down, I think he's a misogynist, personally. I think he hates women, and I especially think he hates black women. I know that he said the contrary in interviews, I love black women, and this and that. I just personally get the vibe from him that he does not like women. He has a lot of animosity towards them. And watching this video for the girls on drugs, I really felt it full force. Wale does not like women, and he does not like black women. He does not like black girls. He looks down on them. He feels like it's his job. To, to wrangle them, to, to tell them what to do, to save them from themselves. It's all very patronizing. Again, going back to the a queen does this and a queen does that. You know, that's on the same spectrum of your straight up misogynist that says he fucking hates women. It's just on the other end. Instead of straight up saying you hate women, you come out saying, well, I'm going to do this, 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 and this, but it's for your own good. But it's for your own good. No, it's not for their own good. It's because you hate them. And you feel like, they need your guidance and they need you to improve them. They can't they can't have any agency for themselves like their children, you know? Um, but in this, the Girls on Drugs video, it's supposed to be some type of a meditation on the current, you know, Instagram, social media generation. I felt like it was very heavy-handed. I, I felt like it was basically shaming black women without giving any type of actual, you know, deeper context without giving any type of meditation on the society that is creating these these kids because none of this shit is happening within a vacuum it's all uh, a reaction and an, and, an, and an offset of the society that we're living there was no nothing the video starts off with like these girls they're working out these three black girls they're working out in a gym and they're having fun they're laughing they're drinking water they're taking pics they're putting pics on instagram they're joking around they leave the gym they go back home you know i guess they're like all roommates and they start smoking they're smoking out of a bong they pop a couple pills they get dressed they go out to the club while they're out at the club one of them meets wale he like takes her back to the room mind you there's no meditation on that there's no meditation on rappers meeting random bitches in the club and taking them back to the room and what does that say about our society, right? There's no meditation on that. We just see him meet her. He takes her back to the room. She starts bugging out because she had, like, popped the pill earlier and smoked. She goes in the bathroom. She throws up. Wale's, like, giving her this Bill Cosby-ass lecture. She fucking did. He, like, takes her out on the balcony. He's giving her this Bill Cosby-ass lecture about how she needs to be doing this and doing that. She fucking dips on that nigga. She dips out. She fucking walks off the balcony like, man, I didn't come here to fucking hear a lecture. And she's in the elevator like going back down and she like breaks down crying in tears. And there's also a weird subplot about her friend wanting breast implants that doesn't even make any fucking sense. The video ends with her going under the knife to get the implants. I don't even know what that had to do with the video. But it's, suppo it's just supposed to be about, you know, gr girls on drugs, how girls are on heavy drugs. How all they want to do is party and be on drugs and be on Instagram and shop at H&M. And all they care about is they looks. They don't care about anything else. Which, there's a valid conversation to be had about that. But that can't be had without talking about the society that is creating these people, right? I didn't see not a single magazine in this video of the girls looking through magazines. I didn't see not a single blog of the girls on the computer scrolling through the blogs. I didn't see not a single fucking mention of any other rappers, you know, and how these, and how these, because, because who is making video girls popping? Not video girls, but Instagram girls. That's what they are now. Instagram girls. See, I'm old. I'm 27. Fucking when I was younger, it was these video vixen bitches. Now it's like these Instagram hoes. Who is making these Instagram girls popping, right? Bernice Burgos, who I think is fucking gorgeous, by the way, one of these niggas, these rap niggas, they're saying that it's Drake, just bought her a fucking black Rolls Royce, literally, just the other day, yesterday, two days ago, three days ago, tops, one of these rap niggas just bought this bitch a black Rolls Royce, people think it's Drake because she just got back from an Australian vacation with this nigga, this bitch doesn't do anything, Bernice Burgos doesn't do shit, except put video uh, pics and videos up on Instagram all day. Her Instagram bio says a bartender. Yet this bitch just got a Rolls Royce. 
bought for her by some rich nigga. While the rest of us with degrees and shit like that, we, we paying back, you know, student loans and Sally Mae. None of this shit lives within a vacuum. Why wasn't that addressed in the video, right? Why is the main focus of the video revolving around these three girls without giving us any type of context as to the culture that they're living in and that they're existing in? I would have respected this video more if, if we're going to talk about this. Let's see it from Wale's point of view as a rapper. Because I know he has insight because he's a rapper and he's been rapping for how long now? Let's see the inside of one of these tour buses. What do all the bitches on the bus look like? Let's see. I mean, it doesn't have to be real. real. Like, I'm not saying he needs to make a documentary or anything. But it could have very easily been a meditation on the society, on the culture, and on what the culture creates in young men and women. Instead of revolving around these three girls as if these three girls are doing something so bad and wrong and terrible that they shouldn't be doing. It's a, it's a reaction to the culture that they exist in. Okay, the culture where a fucking Bernice Burgos bitch gets a fucking brand new Rolls Royce, right? A culture where Amber Rose, who I do like, as you guys know, where Amber Rose video bitch stripper at 15 who is fucking famous, rich and famous. A fucking culture where a Kim Kardashian and her whole family are multimillionaires for what? But none of that was fucking meditated on in the context of the video. We literally just see these three black, black girls. They're working out at the gym. They're having fun. They're drinking water, which looked healthy as hell to me. I was like, oh, these bitches healthier than I am. You know, they go home. They smoke a little bit out of the bong. They're young girls. They're young women. They're clearly young, single, attractive. They're fit. They work out, you know. I, first of all, I don't necessarily think they did anything wrong in the video. They fucking hit a little weed and popped a little e-pill. Okay, that doesn't necessarily mean they're bad people or they're going to hell. They put up pictures on Instagram. So what? So what? If we're talking about what that means in the larger context of the culture, then let's talk about the culture. Why are we shaming these young black girls specifically without making any type of valid critique on culture and then at the end we see her friend getting breast implants like what is that even supposed to symbolize that that she wants bigger titties like i don't even get it like and it's not like this hasn't been done before on pretty tlc where we see chili she's dating the guy the guy wants her to have bigger boobs right why are all these bitches going out and even getting bigger boobs and bigger asses and this and that? Because that's what these niggas want. That's what these niggas are glorifying. That's what they're talking about in every song. These are the bitches that are getting Rolls Royces. These are the bitches that are getting fucking rich and famous. Now, if you want to meditate on why do people want to be rich and famous in our society of fucking fame whores, again, that is another conversation. That has nothing to do with black girls smoking weed and partying, right? There's no context. There's no context. It was very much like a fuck black girls type of video. Like, my husband and I were talking about it. He was like, yeah, I didn't like it. He was like, because I'm watching it, and I'm just like, oh, this whole thing just sounds like fuck black girls. Like, black girls are just wild and out of control and crazy, right? And it's so hard to have these conversations because you inevitably have people that say, well, black girl self-esteem is not my issue, and if you're not strong enough to, like, Look at all this shit and not want a big butt and woo woo woo. That's on you, which is a point. No one is responsible. Person, no one is personally responsible for anybody else's insecurities or self esteem. But if that's the route we're gonna take, then don't fucking make music videos and songs about it. Blasting black girls because there is a conversation to be had about the current state of the society and the culture and the fame whoring and the social media and the augmented bodies and the colorism. Okay, because I can't fucking turn even turn on a video without seeing white people. I was annoyed as hell watching that Janelle Monet video because there's fucking white girls in it. I don't want to see fuck. I see white people every day, all day at work and everywhere. When I fucking go on my entertainment and watch music videos, I don't want to fucking see white people. And black people are the only people that do that. Right? If I go watch a Taylor Swift video on mute because I don't watch her or know any of her music, it's going to be all white people. If I go watch a One Direction video on mute, it's going to be all white people. If I go watch an Ed Sheeran video on mute, it's going to be all white people. If I go watch a fucking Aventura Bachata video, it's going to be all fucking non-white Hispanics. 
Yeah, when I watch black people shit, I see fucking white people everywhere. That shit is so irritating. Like, I don't want to see this. Shit is so annoying to me. But that's, that's completely unrelated. I just felt like the whole video of the girls on drugs had this real misogynistic undertone of black girls are fucking out of control. And these queens need to fucking put some clothes on and sit the fuck down. I hate that shit. The quickest way to get under my skin is to call me classy or tell me I need to be classy or to say queens do this, queens do that. Don't respectability politic me. Don't respectability politic me about race. Don't respectability politic me about sex and gender. Queens and real women and this and that can do whatever the fuck they want to do. If they want to pop five e-pills before they fucking go out, they can. If they want to fucking smoke 18 bongs before they go out, they fucking can. As long as they're not hurting anybody. And they're not. Right? And they're not. And this whole sense that even that black girls can't even... Young black girls can't even explore and, and fucking try drugs and fucking do this and do that without it turning into this, oh, these black bitches are out of control. This is, this is why I don't fuck with these black bitches anymore because look at what they're doing. Without any type of social commentary on critique on the culture, is cr it's crazy to me. It's insane. It blows my fucking mind. It bugs me the fuck out, you know? Some of the lyrics in the song, which I'm going to read before I close this out, what's really wrong with you? He asks after their night takes a turn. Shit that he's rapping. What I see right now, I see a little girl scared, confused, don't know what to do, that looks for Instagram likes and H&M sales. Nigga, I shop at H&M. One of my good friends works at H&M. I might get me an H&M sale tomorrow. And what? I'm trying to get me a real woman to take out, but for now, they're wild. They'd rather get it in. You see, there's this parallel between a, a real woman does this and uh, this these sluts and whores like Janelle Monet and these yoga pants do that. And I'm not here for that shit, okay? Just like black people fucking deserve respect for being human beings, women deserve respect. We don't have to fucking play these respectability politics games to be real women or to respect ourselves. And being wild, who the fuck cares? These niggas fucking glorify wild bitches every day of the week, but then they turn around and be like, oh, actually, I don't, actually, I want a good girl. Actually, I want and a good and a good girl is a virgin that's never did drugs and never did this and never did that. Even though while they be getting high as hell, and the video was just so overblown because the girls didn't even do anything that bad. They're working out. They literally hit the bong a couple times. They take one pill. They go to the club. The girl starts puking, and Wale gives her this lecture with his fucking denim vest. This nigga's been wearing denim vests for like eight years. Stop wearing denim vests, Wale. How about you stop worrying about black girls and you start worrying about them denim vests? Because then invests are not popping. Okay? This respectability politics shit just really bugs me out. I feel like a lot of people just hate women. And they just can't reconcile that. So they fucking turn it into... Just like how people hate black people and they can't reconcile that. So they turn it into, well, if you did this, this, and this, I wouldn't have to hate you anymore. No, you just hate women. Racists just hate black people. It just is what it is. Women don't have to do anything for you or to please you. And black girls, you don't got to do shit. It's a nigga out there that's for you. It is. Trust me. Like, I've done my fair share of crazy shit. I never thought I was going to get married. I made a $1,000 bet with my mother that I was never going to get married. I literally owe her $1,000 because I found somebody. Fuck these niggas telling you you got to do this, this. I want a real woman, but all this wild bitch wanted to. Nick. Nigga, you were in the club too! You were in the club also! You met her at the club! You met her at the club! How is it not okay for her to be at the club, but it's okay for you to be at the club? What if a bitch wanna pop a pill and put on her freaking dress and call herself a bad bitch and go out with her other bad bitches? That's none of your business. If that's how she if that's what makes her feel good. That's her respecting herself. If that's what makes her feel good, it's none of your fucking business. And if you don't like it, go to the library and get you a library bitch. It's easy. It's very easy. You don't have to tear black girls down with this bullshit. And like I said, if we're going to have a conversation about the society and what the society is creating, then let's do that. Let's not bug out on black girls. Because I'm not here for that shit at all. Fuck these niggas. You a badass bitch from hell and none of these niggas can fuck with you. You Abaddon, bitch. Supernatural, look it up. Okay? Fuck these niggas. Fuck it. And Janelle Monet. Don't ever put the suit back on, girl. Wear your yoga pants and your crop tops. 
And they need to stop policing your areola. Misogynoir. Y'all hate black girls. That's it. Just be upfront with it. Just like I tell racists. Y'all hate black people. Just be upfront with it. You know? Stop with this. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to save you from yourself, girl. Cut it out. Peace.